Okay, so now we're going to make a, uh, a boost leak tester, and what you're going to need uh, for this is, is you're going to need, uh, of course, two hose clamps, um, a, P a PVC cap to fit the coupler uh, that goes on the end of your turbo. Um, in my case, a four inch coupler goes on the turbo, and a three inch PVC cap fits right in there, really, really snug. Um, so the three inch PVC cap was a good fit for me, um, and a four inch coupler. Uh, four inch to four inch. It's the same one that goes on the uh, FP pipe. Um, so I just took it off. Of course, I'll order another one because this is not the ideal way. Uh, what you'll want to do is you'll take your uh, PVC cap, and uh, generally I, I try to find flat ones, but the only ones I could run into today were the round ones. So uh, I'll I'll take the round one, and uh, I purchased this uh, valve stem from AutoZone, your local auto parts store, I have them and on the back of the package it'll actually tell you uh, what size drill bit you need to uh, use. Uh, well for me, I had this one laying around so I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'm going to start out uh, with this drill bit and you just take, um, and I'm going to drill it up towards the top so that when it's in, the fitting will be angled up and it'll be easier for me to apply air pressure. Uh, again, if you have a flat one, you'll want to do it in the center. Um, and I just use a regular drill bit and you uh, need to drill your hole for your valve stem. By the way, battery drills suck. I always recommend uh, using a cord drill. I sure wish I had one right now. So you'll want to drill out that hole um, until you can fit this valve stem. You want to start to fit that rubber piece up through there because it actually seals right here. You can also use a bolt-on method that has a nut on the back side. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use those with great success as well, but again, I had this one laying around. So uh, I, I just use this one because it's already at the house. Uh, also, I you know you, you should uh, I would recommend using the right size drill bit, but in my case, I this is the largest one I had um, sitting around, so so you can get the uh, that part through there a little bit more. Again, it'd be much easier if you read the back of the package and uh, follow the directions given on that package on what size drill bit to use. Um, and it'd just be one simple, one simple drill through, and then the valve stem will press right through and seal perfectly. Maybe just a tad bit more. little bit more. You don't want these to be too loose because then the valve stem still will leak. I mean, yeah, the valve stem still itself will leak when you're doing your boost leak test and that's a pain. And again, my, my drill is going dead so it really sucks. Okay, there we go. You see the black part slid up there, through there pretty good and then you just have to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. And that bottom part will come through but what we're going to do Take a little bit of uh, I just got some red perm text here in front of me. Take just a small amount to ensure uh, the seal here. Just a touch. Of course, if you don't use perm text in a while, it dries up in the tube. Take just a touch of it and rub it around that inner line there. So when it actually seats, it'll stay in there for good, for sure. Now you're just going to pull and tug, and pull and tug side to side. Twist if you can. And try to pull it until the lip 
comes over the PZ, PVC cap. Now this is the largest one I've ever built because I just upgraded my turbo. And as you can see, it's actually it's not uh, coming all the way through. Um, so I would you know definitely recommend using a bolt style. I'll try this out and see how it works. Um, but it comes you just pull it all the way up in there, and on a smaller PVC cap. The fat end will actually come through, still on the other side. This is a smaller one I made for a Mitsubishi size turbo. Um, but anyway, so I pulled that valve stem through. As you can see, it's seated down in there. Uh, just how good, I'm not exactly sure. I have to apply some pressure and find out. But the good thing about these press through valve stems is the fact that when you apply pressure the pressure inside is actually pushing against the valve stem so uh, in essence you know it, it seals itself if you can get some pressure in there but if it is leaking um, you know you can definitely try a bolt through or whatever your heart desires and then you just get your uh, your coupler and of course this piece fit in there really really snug that's why I decided to use it you just get your coupler and I'm gonna leave enough for the for the turbo to sit in there so I put it about halfway and you just you just put a uh, one hose clamp here, and you put the other hose. You put it on the turbo, or you put this on. You put the uh, put that on the turbo, tighten it down, and apply pressure. Um, and and I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate that in a, uh, in the next video um, on you know to apply pressure and do the boost leak test. I uh, hope this helps.